the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. St. Gertrude the Great once said, As often as anyone looked devoutly upon an image of Jesus crucified, so often he would draw upon himself the eyes of the divine mercy. Instead of developing a lengthy sermon, I would like instead to leave upon you a specific tool so that you can contemplate the passion of Christ during this week coming. And so we're going to look into the toolbox of St. Benaventure, Bonaventure, a great saint. And he can give us a threefold tool in order to effectively come into great contact with our Lord's suffering. So according to St. Bonaventure, there are three necessary conditions to keep if we are to, listen to this, bear fruit in meditating on the passion of Christ. And these three tools is humility, confidence, and persevering. Humble, because the passion of Christ is unlike anything else in the world. It's un- unfathomable to the human reason. Bottomless ocean of mystery. Reason has inability to see what even faith sees darkly as through a glass. His passion and death, therefore, is a sealed book against the proud. Because all these reasons, one must therefore begin to meditate by praying humbly. For indeed, he does not reveal wisdom to the proud and clever of this world, but rather to mere children in the spirit. So without this humility, it'll all go over our heads like a chimpanzee in the midst of Albert Einstein. Well, St. Bonifacio didn't say that, but I said it. The second tool, confidence. The passion of and death of Christ is loaded with, get this, love and remedy. Love and remedy. He's full of great medicines. I don't know about you, sisters, and my dear guests and sisters, but sometimes in my meditations in the morning, beholding the image of Christ. And it's like he has his fist closed in front of me. I can imagine it. And I'm trying to pull on his fingers because I know inside that hand is the solutions to all the problems of the world of all times. Especially within my ribcage, my own heart. We have to have confidence that Christ our Lord has a solution if we can only open his hand. And that takes a lot of suffering and a lot of humility on our part to get those fingers to be pried open. Confidence is the only motor moving Jesus, propelling him to Calvary. It is out of love for us that he goes to Calvary to die. Once effected, lived, now is an abundance of medicine for every evil, every malady, every temptation, every sin, every crisis, every failure. At the foot of the cross of Christ, each would be made a whole 
by his grace. I guarantee that us, that we would be sanctified. And then the last tool, that of persevering. This is how we should, the last aspect of our meditation this week should be persevering. The beauty of Christ's passion doesn't appear all at once to the world. The world sees it as madness, degradation, and even some Catholics, and even Catholics in general, rarely penetrate its true meaning. And the few that do, do so only by praying, meditating in earnest and repeatedly. Only gradually and by degrees, we are drawn to the holy attraction of Christ's cross. So therefore, the communion rail as we gather up these tools from St. Bonaventure's toolbox. Come to the communion rail. Let us concur with the sentiment of St. Augustine, who said, I'm found not in all my necessities, a more efficacious remedy than the wounds of my Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.